So we're in a little tapestry museum, or tribute to the traditional ways of doing tapestry production. And the gentleman here is telling us about this frame. So basically, you put in your proof here. This is the original that you're copying. So it goes underneath, and then you copy, copy the pattern through the original, and then this is discarded. So it's very unusual to have all of these originals that are left that haven't been thrown away they normally just get renewed he said so the earliest he's got here is 19th century but some real beautiful pieces how french is this honey isn't that amazing what a place to come for the evening Isn't this pretty? Look at this. It's closed now for lunch, but imagine here in the evening. How pretty would that be? Look at that medieval arch with uh, modern, modern dustbins. We just walked around this river bank and we're looking to try and get over and we've happened on the old railway and I reckon well that track has been used we're just going to do a sprint across the bridge don't touch the track pardon? safe. Let's see if we can uh, see if that station is still in use. Aubusson. You can just about see the name of it there, look. Aubusson. So this is one for railway enthusiasts. Lovely Town railway station. This is like something out of a history book, isn't it? it hasn't changed at all. Aubusson. I love the wrought iron columns. And it looks like uh, originally they would have had a couple of tracks running down here. Yeah. There's just one left now. And it says we've got to see this. What have we found? Look, the wing scales as well. Wow, look at that. Look at the benches. I don't know if the camera can pick them up. That's brilliant. I think you're right, it's an old, it's an old maintenance shed, isn't it? See the old construction here, look. Look how they've reused. These are railway tracks. We've seen this before where they've reused them as materials and building projects. Wow, oh, that's amazing.
like this. This looks like an old, was this an old goods platform or? Oh, it looks like it's got 1970s, 1970s bits on it, look. More rail track. Wow. I'd say and being vandalised, unfortunately. Is this the warehouse or something? I don't know where it was. Offices or? So we've seen there are tracks here. There's one track there, and the other track is just here. And that is right up against the side of this building. So whatever this was, it was close to the to the trains. Yes, it was train driving school, French train driving school. Yeah, we've just seen this crane here. Let's go and have a look at that. What have you found? It's an old sign. She's a strong girl. Look, she's going. I've got it. No, it's not on the No. <laughs> no. Unfortunately not, honey. What on earth is this? No idea. I don't know. A couple of chains. And we've got this beautiful crane here. This is like a dockside crane. Look at this. Look at the drive. Chain link here, look. Running all the way up. What a beautiful piece of engineering this is. Seized. That's not. Yeah, I can't move that. Look at that. What's at the end here? Another platform. It's another another track here, look. Oh yeah. Another that's very small gauge. That is. So we've got another track and then there's another another slab here something. There we are. Unfortunately, railway enthusiasts, that's as deep as we're going to go into there. But look, you can see those tracks much more clearly there. And that's a much narrower gauge, which is very unusual, isn't it? They wouldn't have run two different size gauges, would they? Uh, yeah. Ah. I don't know what it's like in France. I know in England we had two, we had the narrow, we didn't win the wide gauge. We had a, um, Run them side by side. Well, they left, yeah, they thought that, but it was a nightmare when it came to junction bits, wasn't it? For, um, yeah, junction I bet. railway bits. I didn't know that. So, what do you think they do? Put them in there? So we've left the railway station. Oh, it's done a circle. It's come back round there, look. We've done a big circle, yeah. yeah. So we're heading back towards the car. We think. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> we're just on our way back to the car via the back streets, which is by the riverside, look. The river is just here. Right, and look, you see the net curtain in this uh, Maison de Matre. 
and it's for sale. Look, look at this, look. My God, look. What a beautiful house. Got uh, servants quarters on the right and a garage. The front door doesn't look like it's been open for years, but surprisingly, the slate roof is in really good condition. What do you think, Miss Anna? Well, you can tell his door's open, Down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should we see how much it's up for? So this is the house here. We found it online. It's uh, 350 square meters that backs onto this river and it's up for, I'll show you some pictures now, it's up for Don't have to look at the camera, the sun's, uh, the sun's right in our eyes. Glary today. Mm. We need sunglasses. So I hope you've enjoyed our historic trip to Aubusson, the place where the famous singer Roy created his art in the 1970s, I think. So let's see where the uh, adventure takes us now.